Damien's still got the other one, Jason's got one, and you've got one. What happens next? We've, we've turned the tape over, at least one of the tapes over. Uh, Jesse, you said that you got sick going home that night. You mean sick at your stomach? Mm -hmm. Going up. Going to our DC. Okay. And where, remember where you were when you threw up? Remember where it was in relation to the road or the overpasses or anything? Okay. What'd you do with your bottle? I first did it. Okay. Where, where at? On the side of a... Uh, like a slope going in over the old path. Okay. We've been... Where a bridge goes over one of the interstates? Yeah. Like coming from... Like from Little Rock. We go down there. That bridge goes towards me. Okay. And that would have been Evan Williams? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, when you left the woods and went back, were Damien and Jason still in the woods when you left? They were still there when I left. Okay. Now, what, what was it as far as daylight or dark? What was it when you left the woods? I think about it.
And again, we advise you not to make the statement. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, the purpose of your statement, I would like to point out, as I did with Judge Burnett earlier, that I think Mr. Kelly is perjuring himself. Do you have an opinion, Mr. Kelly? I have a very strong opinion that he's perjuring himself. Mr. Kelly, you inform the court, the doctors of the court, and the ethics of the court, that we need to do this. Do you want to take that to the court for the record of the statement? Let me ask one thing. Jesse, I asked you earlier about what you just told me about the events that took place the night of May 5th. Is that what you told me the truth? Yes, sir. Okay. And if asked to testify to that in court, would you and could you testify truthfully to those? Yes, sir. That would conclude your statement at 845 on February 17th, 94. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.